Hi, I'm Biddy. I deconstructed my fundamentalist Christian faith in 2019. When I stepped out of organized religion with its rules and its shoulds and its shouldn'ts and its shame and its guilt and into atheism, I had little community and little direction of what I was supposed to do. Younger generations not interested in organized religion and people who have recently deconstructed their faith are increasingly turning to a variety of self-empowering rituals and spell work to satisfy the spiritual void. But what if you don't believe in the supernatural or magic, but you still want to partake in religious rituals? Then maybe you're a ritual agnostic? So let's look up the definition of ritual agnostic. This person doesn't believe in a god or an afterlife, but finds some rituals or other traditions, even those associated with religion, to be beautiful or useful. This is where I started to work on happiness within myself. I can live without a deity, I can live without an afterlife, but there was something about the rituals and the prayer that I had grown accustomed to growing up in religion that I missed. Let's face it, homo sapiens inherently yearn for something greater than themselves. And there are plenty of religious molds out there and they all come with their own rituals. So why not experience it? Religion is part of the human experience and it can be very culturally rewarding and we can really appreciate where we've come from. And if you grew up fundamentalist like me, you know. You know, you are not allowed to learn about other religions, let alone incorporate them in your day to day. So let's rebel against the system. Heal the inner child, man. For many people, rituals can offer numerous psychological advantages, such as helping us savor experiences, living in the moment, giving us a sense of control when things feel out of control, and even help reduce our anxiety. In fact, researchers from the University of Minnesota and Harvard conducted a study on that exact subject. In the study, participants were given a chocolate bar to eat, and they were to report their satisfaction after consumption. The experimental group was instructed to perform a ritual before eating it. The study showed that the people who performed the ritual reported enjoying the chocolate more. They ate it more slowly, savoring each bite, and reported that it was even more flavorful. It provided direct evidence of the underlying process that rituals can enhance the enjoyment of consumption because of the greater involvement in the experience that they prompt. Now, it's important to note that I am not saying that everyone will benefit from rituals as it can resurface religious trauma. I'm not trying to implement another system where people feel burdened or obligated to perform rituals because that can cause anxiety. Oh, I didn't do my ritual. But for the people that feel atheism lacks structure to a point of nihilism, Ritual activity can be personally rewarding. It can satisfy that part of our brain that developed from religious influence. Remember, there's no rules to this. The choice is ours. I choose to take what resonates because it's a valuable part of effective living for me. I enjoy the aesthetic crystals bring to my home. I take delight in the mystery of tarot cards and I relish in the spirituality meditation brings me. And I love a good fucking drum circle. I do not believe that my skepticism makes me immune to the desire to be part of the rhythm of life. This channel is about you and me, if possible, helping you on a journey of self-discovery. It's about the who, what, where, and why of ancient ritual practices, bringing them from an ancient perspective into modern context through scientific research and psychology. It is not a church. It is not a religious institution. It is hopefully going to be a community of people that also value and find fulfillment in rituals and may just now consider themselves to be ritual agnostics. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments, is there a tradition that you really love despite not necessarily believing in the underlying mythology? Until next time, peace. Demons aren't real. They're not real. We don't have to worry about that anymore.